whipped cream. Go backwards. But make sure I'm okay, okay? You're okay. Oh, you're gonna go backwards, backwards? <laughs> Is this allowed? I guess. <laughs> For the shaky footage. It's just gorgeous. We have been having fun in the snow for two days now. Huh. <laughs> it's so nice. This can take a lot. This is not gonna just take one day, it's gonna take more days. So he's been working on this giant Snowball, still working. Water. Yeah. It's just, it's just so pretty back That's here. This is Tiger's territory. Yeah. Sydney and I just came in from playing. She's having a little snack. At the moment, I shoveled the driveway, but it looks like it's coming down even harder now. So we shall see if, uh, how much more we get. So Sydney's gonna have a little snack. She's gonna have this lesser evil snacks. Um, it's like that cheese popcorn, but it's not cheese since it's a vegan. Anyway. It's delicious. I'm not a huge popcorn girl at all, but I could totally eat this entire <laughs> entire container of it because it is so good. She's having another bowl. You guys, I just bought this yesterday too. I mean, it was only, you know, one bag of popcorn. is not a ton anyway, but yeah, between the two of us, this is gonna go fast. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. We're on day four of our weekend right now. Uh, Sydney had a Friday off for a snow day and today it is snowing again. Um, pretty heavily actually right now. We have a nasty weather, like a mix of sleet, snow, on top of all of the snow that we got the other day that stayed on top of all the branches and all the wires. And so there's a lot of power outages. Ours went off two times, but it came right back on. Um, and so just kind of crossing my fingers that it stays on, but I know a lot of people are without power right now with down lines and down trees. So that's what is up. Sydney has been painting all morning. Um, she built a fort over the coffee table with towels and blankets 
and I'm trying to focus. I'm finding it very difficult to do so. So over the last couple of days, we have been sledding so much. We were outside for hours and just really soaking up all of the play since this is our first uh, real snow of the season. And um, yeah, everything that I had planned for work is having to be stalled and pushed and all the things just because of the weather um and then i'm still waiting on items in the mail because of the, probably because of the weather so i'm i'm trying to be flexible but also don't have a whole lot of backup or didn't have a whole lot of backup plan as far as content goes um i will get a video up this sunday we'll resume sunday videos from now on but with vacation and you know days off from school and snow days and all of that um it's yeah i just didn't it just didn't happen so we will bring back some sunday videos um coming up since i have all of this content planned that i wasn't able to film i will be able to film it when sydney goes back to school and weather clears up um so yeah today we are obviously hanging out at the house we it's not safe to be out on the roads everyone like when i go online everyone's like stay home if you do not need to get out if it's not an emergency do not go on the roads and you don't have to tell me twice because i do not like driving in the snow born and raised in maine don't love driving in the snow though um especially i know i've said it before yeah Anyway, that is what is going on today. Another day at home um, doing some housework. I have been trying to clean and organize. It's taking me a lot longer to get there, but that's what I'm going to do today. Focus on really, you know, organizing things that I didn't plan on doing, but that need to be done. Like cabinets and cupboards and things. I just figured since it's a snow day and we're inside, it's a good day to do so. I finally got myself together because the last few days... I have not gotten myself together at all. I don't even think I showered yesterday. <laughs> we were just sledding and snowing, sledding and snowing. We were just sledding and outside we hung out with friends. Um, we, just, just, we did the things yesterday. Uh, so that's what we're up to. So this is Sydney's fort situation. When I was getting myself together, I was putting on some makeup. She went ahead and made a fort over the coffee table. Sorry. Apparently she wants Santa to stop here. Oh, I love you. What else do you do on a snow day? You clean out cupboards that have been needing to be cleaned out for years. This cupboard is just kind of a mix, like mix and match. So many different baking things and kitchen things. I have my tape measure and tape. Like, I'm gonna go through it. This is a today project. Why wouldn't you have a screwdriver tape, measuring tape, in with your pots and pans, in with your espresso? Like, you know, make sense. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of things that I do not use. So I have a bunch of this style Nespresso um, and I do not have that machine anymore. I can't even remember. I can't even remember um, what I used to use these for or like what machine. It's been that long. Um, I guess I used to have a little espresso machine. I must have sold it or gotten rid of it or something. Um, I think Sparkles has and took it to the North Pole. Remember? Sparkles took it to the North Pole? Remember Sparkles oh. made juice with it? Oh, that was my juicer. 
that's that's different coffee anyway so i'm gonna get rid of the things that i no longer use um i have things that need to go in storage that do not belong uh the christmas cookie cutters that apparently i've never used probably because i didn't know i even had them hidden in there i'm gonna put these in the christmas items i have halloween molds that i will go ahead and put in the fall stuff and I totally forgot I had packing tape, which would be necessary for like Poshmark orders. But anyway, yes, organizing. This will probably go, actually Sydney's birthday is coming up soon, but I'm going to go ahead and clean this. Clearly it has like crumbs um, and put that in storage and just totally declutter because wow. You know those cupboards that really annoy you and you're trying to cook, you're getting pots and pans and they're falling all over the place and they're just so stressful and annoying but then you never declutter them? That is this. This one. You know, for some reason I've had this large cutting board in here and it doesn't fit in here. So I've been struggling with it, putting it sideways and struggling with it constantly to get it in and out. When I don't know why I wasn't thinking to just maybe stick it in this area underneath the stove where it fits perfectly. Like, why did it take me so long to figure that out? I obviously have a couple of cookie sheets in the dishwasher and those go here, but there will still be plenty of space. I have like crumbs, crumbs from everything. Anyway, making my life a whole lot easier by doing that. And then I have two uh, sauce pots and that's why I just put the lids right here. Uh, the sauce pots will just be right here. I'm so happy plenty of space and then anything seasonal will be in storage where I know to find it when I need it. Okay, day five of our weekend. We have no school again today, Tuesday, because much of the town was without power from down tree lines and, um, you know, this heavy wet snow that was already on the trees from the other day. So anyway, apparently the roads are a mess from trees down. So we are home. We have no internet. 
haven't had internet since last night and our power has gone out a few times and come back on so hence why there's no video for a while but we will make it so i am about to go ahead and rake the roof i'm just gonna do like the first couple of feet here and that way hopefully it prevents ice dams but we got a lot of snow and ice on there so all of that ice is coming down Yay! off the trees onto the roof today we have a couple of branches way up there. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but that are uh, all snapped. Wow, it's a hiding spot. Yeah, okay, she's ready. <laughs> all right, so we are now on day five of our weekend. I am wearing the same shirt as yesterday because I actually am on my way to Target um, because I am, filming a campaign with a hard deadline of tomorrow and Valentine's related. Anyway, um, I was gonna do that yesterday, obviously could not drive with the roads and so school was canceled because a lot of the town had no power and um, like including the schools, they had warming stations set up at one of the schools and um, all of that beautiful snow that I've been so grateful for and in awe of that stuck to the trees, stayed on the trees, and um, we got sleet and snow, about 10 inches, and um, trees were down, power lines were down, all of that. So the roads were a mess. The crews had been working tirelessly. Anyway, that's why we had no school. Again, and hopefully we... <laughs> Hopefully it is all restored for tomorrow because then we're getting another, I, I don't think it's gonna be much. It might be a couple inches, a few inches, I don't know. It, it changes every day. We're getting more um, precipitation tomorrow night. So, but today is gonna be 40, so hence a lot of the stuff is falling off of the trees. It's all iced over now, so all of that ice is crumbling down and falling, so, um, hopefully it is going to be fine um but yeah i am venturing out we need to go to target like i said we haven't been on the roads for a few days or a couple of days at this point so hopefully they're fine and not icy and trees down hopefully they've picked all of that up but like i said i have a hard deadline of tomorrow for a campaign and i have no internet so i haven't been able to get any videos up and i'm stacking content like at least I have power, I can charge my batteries, and we're, we have food, you know, we're all good. We are taking a pit stop to look. You would like this <laughs> Cindy one. Smell of candles. I would like this one. Uh, I don't like that. One. Don't like that one. Anyway, they have some super cute Valentine stuff. But let's go look at the um, spring. Oh, you're right, I do. Oh, I like that basket. It's hard to think of spring when you uh, are dealing with straight up winter. Anyway, okay, we gotta go look at the Valentine's stuff. Loads of Valentine's stuff. I usually don't make it here this early. These are my favorite. Totally buy this someday. We should totally buy this someday, she says. Well, I wish I could have another one. It's so cute. I don't remember them having this much either. That or I never just I just make it one there. All right, I am feeling some type of way seeing all the summer patio stuff out right now. 
This is uh, an interesting choice. I mean, it's cute, but. Sydney and I decided to get Subway for lunch. We pulled in to this area and there's all the utility workers. There's like a bunch behind me too. Um, stopped there obviously, you know, there's Dunkin' Donuts, Subway over there. They're taking their breaks, but we thank them so much. Them and they, their families clearly they have been working tirelessly. We got home, no internet still. Apparently the power went out, but I don't think for very long. Um, and then all of all of the neighbors, we were like calling each other to make sure we weren't the only ones. And like we knew we weren't, but at the same time you gotta double check, you know. Anyway, I got a foot long veggie because I am starving. And, um, Sydney got a sandwich I'm, too. I'm I have two subdemos at the same time. I'll, I'll show you. I can only show you one because um because it's just um, one is in the box from the mail. Just a second. So guys, this is my stuffed animal I got, and I wanted a unicorn one, but I picked out this one that was more cute. After mom's lunch, I can open the box and we'll show you my stuffed animal rose bear. I promise. <laughs> Me and Mama are gonna go outside. Are we? This one is my rose beer. It's I and it's Valentine. And I got it from Valentine's and it's almost Valentine's and my birthday today. Almost. And this one you probably know because I've been showing you already. But have a good day celebrating your Valentine today. And and I hope you find two new stuffed animals. Bye-bye.